welcome back everybody to another edition of bits and bobs and surprises and if anybody else is like me and that loves orchids going nuts we don't need an explanation we just take it for what it is and accept it well here is lavender louis pushing on with its third spike of the season but that's not all it has another one coming down there so <laughs> Yes, it's not gonna stop for a good while. I think this one will be the last spike though because it has a lot of growing to do in order to start another node. But isn't that amazing? So, some things have happened since we've done the tour and the brief look around as in what else is going on. So thank you for joining me and let's have a look and see what we found since then. So what are we looking at here? What is the interest in a lacquer pebble on the floor? Yeah, well, if you saw my first ever Angracum's video, I was watching the surface layer of my Angracum pot being all uneven. And I mentioned back then, I'm really looking forward to the day that I wake up and seeing one of those lacquer beads on the floor. And looky here, it has happened. So I'm, in the meantime, I have lost some growing tips from these roots of my Angracum. Unfortunately, we've had some extremely hot wind and I couldn't keep up. I still have the big one down there curling in. So I keep this little area on this side very humid. I come in and spray every now and again. I don't want to lose this growing tip here. I want it to go into the media where it can survive and continue growing and that is what I'm doing but yeah two have been lost which is unfortunate maybe they'll branch maybe they'll branch eventually look at this peoples look at this this is my dendrobium polyanthum new growths at the base we are in business there's four. Ooh, let me take care of that piece of moss. I have four new growths at the base. Great, because now I can see when the roots develop and then there will be a relocation, a remounting video coming forth. So this is awesome. And a quick, quick sneak peek. We have some buds opening as well. So now you see them, now you don't. Look at everything that's going on here. Oh my goodness. Let's have a quick look. Who is waking up and who is doing what? Early days as well, I introduced my Cattleya Eclandiae. And since then doing nothing, clearly these prefer to be mounted. Uh, I've got it into my head that I want to keep this potted up for now and see what's going on and how it does. And I only have a single root going down into the media. Everything else is not really viable. So it's touch and go with this one. But we have two new growths coming. So there's one right here. And there's one right down here. So that gives me hope that uh, maybe with these, some new roots will come. And hopefully the roots will head off in the right direction of their own accord. So there's action in Aclandiae. And the tenuis here, Cattleya tenuis. Look, we have a new growth right there. Fantastic. I'm super pleased about that. I'm not sure that it's even going to be one of those very first bigger growths that you should be getting after acclimatizing a seedling, but we never know. It's there, and that makes me very happy. Move that out of the way, and look at my Shilleriana. Look at what she's up to, right there. This is great, I'm so happy to see this going on. Quick shift of my position, because I'm in the shade here, but look, I also have some root growth happening. That for my Shilleriana is extremely important. I am looking for the same here with regards to my Aclandiae. 
And then what is my Paphiopedalum Redshift crossed with Paphiopedalum Mordier doing? Look, is that going to be a bloom? It's way too early to tell, but it's been a long time since this one has actually moved anything in the crown. So I am hopeful. I am hopeful that this will be a bloom. And very quickly, let me move Mordier out of the way. Margaret, here's another quick update of my Lelia Crispa. You can see there is nothing going on in the root department as far as I can see. The outer pot is not showing any, any kind of root tip growth or anything like that. But I think I have lost two roots. These guys right here, they're a bit brown and I do believe they weren't brown before. So yeah, I've lost these little stump root things here. One is still there. You can see it right there. The edge of my fingertip there. That one's still green. The growth looks like it hasn't moved at all. But other than that, Margaret, I don't see any other deterioration. The little itty bitty pseudobulbs are still looking quite good. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that just this is just a slow one being a species and it has all those attributes of just being slow. So that would be the second little update. I hope I'm able to keep up. If there's anything that changes without putting this clip into a general video, I will definitely insert an extra clip and uh, let you know. All right. If you are wondering why we're staring at two canes that are sparsely leafed out. Oh, this is important to me. And I want to show you the two new growths of my Ancelia Africana. Oh yes, we're in business. And this for me is muy, muy importante, but let me show you something else. Do you see that thing hanging down there? Can you see that thing hanging down there? Look at that, roots coming out of the bottom of the pot. Oh yes, this for me, when I did the silicon soak and saw this, I was extremely excited. Oh, very happy to see this progress here. Root going out of the pot on my Ancelia Africana and two growths to boot. Digna, if you see this, yay, you don't have to split yours. <laughs> but thank you for the offer. Can I show you orchid gold for me? This is my Sidon Fadenia Mitrata with her very cute little first ever spike. Shame, she is trying and I wanted to have a record of her blooms. So I let it happen. There were four. Then we repotted her, set her up like this because I couldn't take care of the roots or anything like that. Then we went down to two spikes and now I have two. <laughs> They're not really spikes. But I do have to tell you that she lives next to the tortile. And if you have a tortile, watch out for the mealybugs. This is from the tortile. Nowhere else do I have mealies that I have to look out for, except with the dendrobium tortile. So I shall take care of that right after this clip. But you know, get back to my gold. Can you see all those root tips? Look at them go into the pot. There, extension, branching, extending. I do not move this orchid at all. I haven't flushed it for a while because these root tips, when you stare at this too long, they will shrivel up and die. So I have just brought her out because I really wanted to show the results so far. I have a gorgeous one coming down underneath there. And for that reason, I brought her out to this place and she's going straight back where she lives, next to the tortilla, unfortunately. 
because these roots for me are gold. And you can see a fantastic one going right down in the back there. This one. I'm trying to stay out of my own shadow, but you can see it right in there. Huge, long, juicy, and that's how it has to be. That's what I want to see. There it is. That's what I need to see. Lots of, and it's happening. So I'm very, very hopeful now. And I wanted to share that with you. This is what I consider orchid gold. And then one day, maybe next year, we will get sprigs of these beautiful, beautiful little blooms that smell, oh, I don't know how to describe the smell. We can say sweet, but sweet what? Sweet candy? What candy? It's just pleasant all the way around, and I want more of them, but next year. Right now, focusing on the roots. And I'll just wrap this up with a straggler. Let's get out of the wind and out of the sun. Look at that. Dendrobium berry odor thought, well, why not? And pushed out a single little spike again. How cute. I'm sure this will be the last one for the season though, because we are onto new growth territory. Doing really well. There's two in the front here and there's more in the back. So thank you everybody so very much for watching. I hope that I showed some of the orchids that weren't updated in a while. And if there's something that you want to see and I didn't show today, let me know in the comments below. And if I haven't already filmed it in a, for the next bits and bobs and surprises, I'll be very happy to throw in an extra clip and update you on that so you don't have to wait. Thank you everybody. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day. Take care. Bye.